I'm talking with Paul Simon. Your hand's recovered, is it? My hand is better, yeah. Yeah, that's good. You can tip like this on television. Yeah, you can. And, and the funny part is, if you do it just enough, you fall over and get an enormous <laughs> laugh. I've, I've always wanted to do that. Say, I know something about you, that you're studying music seriously now, which I find sort of touching, and that after becoming uh, enormously rich, famous, successful, and sought after, you're suddenly taking music even more seriously. And are you studying composition or theory of music or uh, both? I am, or? yeah, but I, it's not exactly accurate to say I'm studying seriously because I, I was always serious about it. Well, I'm, just, course, I'm just directing it in a more disciplined, more disciplined way, I think. And you're taking voice I, uh, lessons? Well, when my hand was, was bad and I couldn't play the guitar, I was getting restless. I thought I would do something, so I decided to study vo voice I, just for fun. I don't want to be a singer. I don't, I don't even think of myself as a singer. You don't? No, I think of myself as a writer. But I thought it would be interesting. It is interesting. It's good. Do, do rock and pop stars and people like that who are very famous... Um, but are also serious musicians. Ever wish they were more appreciated as musicians? You know what I mean? I was talking to a group of girls who were waiting outside an apartment once for Paul McCartney to come out. They thought he was in there. And I said, what is it that's so great about him? And of course I know, but I was asking them. And I, they said, well, he's just so cute. And I thought, doesn't he ever want to say to them, but you know I'm a musician as well. Is this ever a, a, a drag for the serious people like you, Dylan, McCartney? Or... I, I like when they say you're Lennon. cute. Oh, you do? <laughs> well, I think all right, I, I don't want to take that. the cute line actually more than the uh, than the other than thing. the serious line. Yeah. Yes. I spoke to McCartney I and I said to him, uh, he, he was here recently and we spoke and I said, "Did, did you ever study uh, yeah. any, anything? Uh, how did you how did you how did you write how did you write those changes?" And he says he never he said he never studied. Do you believe it? it? Yeah, well, possibly. Uh, it's, actually, I don't. <laughs> Other, well, it's possible, but then he's a, he's a really natural musician, which he is. He's very musical. Yeah. Very musical guy, but, uh, but, it's, but it's so right musically what he does. The changes, the harmonies are, are right. And Who are the geniuses in the field? Are there any real authentic geniuses in popular music? Today? Some people say McCartney is. Some people say you are. Some people say... Uh, Lennon is or has been or they'll say somebody else has been but isn't now or somebody's becoming one well I I, I, I feel that there are genius. no geniuses in it I, I, no, I feel it's a uh, popular music is a field that is a lot of attention is paid to and a big big emphasis is put on and, and yeah. it's, it's uh, this is terrible to say it's, it's really quite mediocre I think me really? included. I, I don't. I really don't feel my, that I'm much more than uh, mediocre. Rock I mean, it, assuming that you take the, uh, assuming that you take uh, songwriters as a, as a, in a line, and you go through the, the, the major songwriters of this century, and mm -hmm. uh, they were they were better ones uh, a few years ago. Who were your heroes a few years ago? Well, I, it's I don't have any heroes, but there, but. Uh, uh, Well, uh, Gershwin, Gershwin, Gershwin was good. Yeah. Yeah, if you like music. I know. Cole Porter. Cole Porter was good. That was a good one. Yeah. Irving Berlin, Jerome Kern, uh, Richard Rogers. They're, they're all. Mick Jagger. Mick Jagger was good. He's good. Would it be safe to say that certain? Acts but I mean, this is where I just I I just call John the word genius. That's all. Yeah, you I just don't don't reject think, I really that. don't think it's any uh, any geniuses, and I do think that uh, of the people today, I think I think uh, today there are as many talented people as there as there ever were, mm -hmm. but I do feel that a lot of the writers uh, don't they don't develop their talents to their fullest somehow in, in, in popular music. It, it stops, and part, I think part of the blame is. Uh, is that it, it's just overpaid, you know? Overpaid. Well, it's just mi you make millions of dollars doing something. It, mm -hmm. it, ta it does. It takes away a, a motivation. I mean, it, and, and 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 look, the music goes to. Uh, it's mostly performed in these huge arenas now. So mm -hmm. It's not a musical place. Really, not conducive to music. And uh, and and it must be anguishing. For, I'm sorry. Go ahead. 
And the other thing I was going to say is that uh, uh, the radio stations, which really dictate what is popular music today, are, it's so difficult to get your song on a radio station. They only play about 16 songs. And they chop and they, them and they up. Put, uh, they, not only do they chop them up, but they speed them up. What? They speed up the tapes a little bit. They pick up two, three seconds on each song, and then at the end of a day, you have about three or four minutes more time to sell commercials on. How do you mean they spin the record faster? Or well, they, finger on, on it. It's on a, they take it on tape and they, they speed it up. They it would go into a different key, up. wouldn't it? If it went uh, in it, they speed it, it actually up. does. It would be slightly higher in pitch. I don't think you would notice it. It must be anguishing for people to know that if they had thought of. Uh, Mrs. Robinson or Bridge Over Troubled Water, oh, they, I, they could be I'm millionaires. Sorry. And uh, that a song can make you a, a, a millionaire. The money comes in from all parts of the world, perhaps for the rest of your life. Um, well, a number of things I'd want, I'm curious about about that. One of them is, though, that who takes a care to see that you're not gypped by the people who are supposed to get the money to you? There are stories of rock acts and musicians and popular musicians finding that millions have vanished that were supposed to come to them. And then, and they're having to work the rest of their lives out on the road. To, you know, of such cases. Yeah, of course, there are many, many cases. Same is true of uh, uh, athletes and uh, not sure people who make a lot of money uh, quickly. Who takes care of it? Well, I, you, you, you have advisors and you have people that that help you. And if if you're lucky, you pick people who are good and who are honest. And if you're unlucky, you. You don't, and you and you lose some money. I asked you once what I thought was an impossible question: How do you write a song? You know, that's what everyone wants to know. And you actually showed me Did at I least you? how you write a song. Oh. And it was almost like you'd imagine somebody who writes a song. You took the guitar and you strummed it a bit, and you said, "I'll be sitting out thinking, da 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 da, Mrs. Roosevelt, no, Mrs. <laughs> Robinson, Robinson." And it was. Some people thought, "Was he kidding? Is that really how he writes?" Uh, yes, I've, I've now. Uh, elaborated on that technique. I, I, I know more about what I'm doing as I'm doing it. I, I, uh, partly because of the studying, I know uh, there are a lot of alternatives that I now know I can go to that I... You want me to give you the lesson again? I, I, I'd, time? I'd love it. I don't know if we have time, but if people would love to see it. Sure, do Where's, it. If I have my guitar, I'll show you a quick We can get your guitar. What, while they're getting it, what's the name of the group you're playing with? Uh, these are the Jesse Dixon singers. I was on tour with them. They're, uh, you sort of discovered them and they group. discovered you, didn't they? Something like... Well, I saw them at the Newport Jazz Festival a few years ago. Yeah. I thought they were sensational. Uh, they come from Chicago, and uh, I, I've been a, a fan of gospel music for a long time. That's how I found them. They, you said, I want to work with you. Yeah, I said, I, I, yeah. I, I want to work with you. And I really enjoy it, too. <laughs> 